And welcome back everyone to Not Some Developments and today we're making this amazing shooting animation or any gun you can use it for any pistol you want any rifle you want the concept stays the same it's just um I'll be using this this video which I actually give away for free so this view model is uh linked in my discord so you could just go ahead and download it but I am going to teach you how to animate shooting. As you can see, the shell flies out, the hammer moves, the slide moves, the hands move. It looks amazing. So, if you want to just go ahead and animate your shooting or fix the bugs that you might have had from my shooting system tutorial where your animations just weren't loading, this video will be very helpful for you. And like, subscribe at a thousand. I'm giving away 5,000 Robux. So, if you want to be a part of that giveaway, Go ahead and subscribe, and let's get into the video. For this tutorial, you're going to need a couple of things, which are a fully rigged 3D model, which you can either make by yourself by watching this tutorial right here, or actually, lucky for you, I linked this exact one in my Discord server, which is linked in the description below this video. If you go down to downloadable files and find the tab that says shooting animation, there's going to be the actual 3D model, and the module code which I will explain later this isn't necessary but it's helpful so also you're going to need you don't really need it but it's really beneficial a camera locker which is basically just a plugin that allows you to preview what your um, animation will look like before you actually play the game so you don't have to like play it look at it turn it off over and over again you can just preview it and then you're going to need your just just simple animation editor that comes standard in roblox studio so you should have this already installed so to get started you're going to first of all very important i forgot if you're not using my view model and you're going to use your own for the effect i'm adding a bullet shell which like when you fire off a shot it will fly out of the gun so for now you're going to go ahead and just I don't know if you're using mine or yours but you're going to hide it so for example I know that it should fly out somewhere here so I'm gonna go ahead and just make it invisible you can hide it in the gun and since it is welded to your main already somewhere right here it's not going to move anywhere, it's just going to stay in until you actually decide to animate it. So you're just hiding it from your view. Now you can actually start animating. Go ahead, click your animation editor, and right here select your Desert Eagle. And I'm just going to make this a little bit wider. That's fine. And uh, It doesn't really matter what you call this, but I'll call it Desert Eagle Anim whatever you should see it pop up in this corner right here there's eagle click this little plus icon and click add all body which will just add add every single component of your desert eagle to your animation software now you can go ahead and start off by thinking how you're going to do this and as you noticed right here I also have a hammer that's going to shoot forward hit and then the side comes back so you have to think about this when you animate what comes first so to get started I'm gonna use this little scrolling line right here to move one frame forward because this is your original frame so this will automatically save here so you're gonna go ahead and move this one th one step go to whatever it says hammer and then just click model rotate and then rotate until it hits the make sure these rotate and move tabs are off this will allow you to move it more slowly so you're just gonna go ahead and move the hammer to wherever you think it hit so I think right here and as you can see this first frame saved and the second frame is where the hammer hits Again, you're going to move another frame, 
and now our whole slide has to fly back so you're gonna go ahead find wherever it says slide right there and then just move it back until you feel like it's enough so I don't know maybe like this much no wait a lot more than that so I think that that right there is perfect and now remember that casing you had in there it's about time for it to fly out so I would like right away take the bullet casing in this same frame and at least set it like into position so you want to make it visible right about now and this is going to happen really quickly like half a second so it doesn't really matter like how aligned it is because it will just fly away so I take it and I would like put it somewhere here I think that's about right move another frame and then the bullet casing once again will fly up and to the side but don't forget that while that's happening the slide has already hit the player's hand so obviously there's supposed to be recoil so now you're gonna go ahead and select everything that's not aim part or fake camera so click left arm scroll all the way down hold shift on your keyboard click right arm so everything that's not fake camera or aim part is selected in that same frame we're gonna go ahead and just move it back let's say this much I think I think that should be fine right there now if you really wanted to you could also add a little bit of like a let's actually do it let's add a little bit of rotate because obviously when you shoot the guns gonna like not just fly back but also up a little bit so let's do like a little bit of a twist so that's too much maybe like that I think that's fine so right there and then you can just zoom out and then move to the next frame and this is gonna be a little bit hard to explain but when the gun flies up we're gonna go ahead and just copy the previous position of it when it was still here so as you can see there's like a smooth movement so we're gonna go ahead and copy the step before so this one make sure everything here is selected you're gonna go ahead click Control C or just this and then copy selected move one frame here and paste it in so paste that in so now what we have is the shot goes off gun goes up here this is the max point and then here it's already starting to go down so we just repeat that process with this copy move one frame paste and then this very first one copy paste so what we have here is as you can see gun goes off comes back down now we have to do something with the bullet which is for these next steps we can't have it go back in so right about here like this is the climax we're just gonna go ahead deselect everything and then go back to the bullet itself so bullet casing and then animate it separate from the gun so while all of this is like going down we're actually just going to send it more up and more to the side so more up more to the side also don't like throw it too far because it's supposed to be in the player's view so move the frame up side a lot more and then as you can see the bullet is like flying away but for this very last step we're not going to change it because we do need the bullet to come back into the gun but since it has to travel this much distance in such short time the player won't actually notice it so now we can actually try and see what it looks like so if we play it 
as you can see the gun goes off and even the hammer is cocked again so if if it hit like right here it hit it will get recharged just because that's the way the animation works so this is what our shot will look like now remember that plugin i told you about camera locker if we click our gun right here desert eagle and select camera locker wait wrong one instead of selecting desert eagle select the fake camera and then click camera locker now we can play this and preview what the animation will look like which is this and you might be like wow the bullet just disappears but that doesn't matter because when you're shooting you don't actually want it to like have a full like long disappearance it shouldn't like catch too much attention when you shoot so this is more than enough you can go ahead now click these three little dots right here and then publish to roblox you should be faced with this screen your name I wouldn't change anything here because it doesn't really matter click save and very important copy this ID because if you don't you will have to go to this um, creative website and then look for it and it takes a while so just copy it here if you somehow messed up just republish it again and now we're going to we're done with the animation the animation is complete so we can close this for now now we're actually going to add this to the game and test it out now if you followed my FPS game like playlist tutorial, watch this part. If you have your own separate like system and you're just looking for the animation, skip until like this time I put right here. Basically, here's a few things you should check. First of all, in your Desert Eagle, you should have have like this little thing appear says animation save, which is the animation you just published for this view model. Then also you're going to go ahead and take this and put it into your replicated storage view models because you actually want it to be a part of your game so I'm going to delete this old one so now the thingy you just animated you put it into the view models folder so it might disappear from here but that doesn't matter because it's in your view models you are also going to go into your server storage and check that you have rbx anims appear and it should say hashtag this eagle right here as well so that means your animation has saved to your game if you followed my fps playlist this is very important and this code i had here is for you you're going to go ahead and expand it and just copy everything here go back to your game in your replicated storage you're going to open up modules click add and then module script I already did this part so I don't have to but basically when you add it you're gonna have to rename it to this desert eagle open it up and then just paste all of the code into this um, into the script and then in framework client on lines about like I don't know 593 where your inventory is change one of these items to desert eagle spelled exactly like this and I think there's another one on like line 70 yeah, so Desert Eagle here as well. Now, this is for everyone. So, remember those numbers that we saved when you uploaded your animation? Wherever in your shooting system or, or like your game, you have your fire animation code. So, your local script, you have a fire anim. Go ahead and just change these numbers to the animation you have just um, created. It should be like rbx asset id and then a bunch of numbers after and again if you want to make this just follow this playlist that i'll link in the description of the video now let's actually test this system so you're going to go ahead and click play if you click three or whatever your desert eagle was it's going to open up as you can see the hammer is cocked when you shoot as you can see it works perfectly the bullet flies out you can also do it while aiming your hammer will hit and then you actually have to make a separate reload animation and i have a video for that in this top right corner or in the description of this video but as you can see the shooting animation itself does work so 
If you like this tutorial, please like, subscribe. If you have any problems or questions, feel free to comment below this video or just join my Discord server, which is also linked down below. If you have any tutorials you want to see me make, just go ahead also suggest in the comments. Please like, subscribe, because these videos do take a lot of time. And releasing next week will either be this puzzle flash tutorial or a weapon inspection tutorial, kind of how you see in this top right corner right here. Comment down below what you want to see or I'll do a poll in my Discord, so please participate in it. So see you next week.